Happy Sunday, this is Kevin with Transition Pittsburgh here in Peaceburg, which is what I'm calling Pittsburgh now. I'm on the first ever urban chicken, coo urban chicken coop tour, and so we're at the first house here in Squirrel Hill, and I'm going to show, show around a little bit. So here's the beautiful garden they have. These are the folks that live here. Would you like to say anything about your garden or your chickens? Um, well, the garden, we have a lot of native. Mostly that's all native flowers up there, and in here it's all native. Beautiful. I was returning my oh, thank you. to the very nice person there who dispensed the lemonade. And uh, the kids have fun with the chickens. Beautiful. They like to, you know, feed them and play with them, and they use Chickens run around the yard. Uh huh. Wonderful. Kind of teaches them sort of the idea of where that your food comes from. Absolutely. Yeah. So they what love them though. They're like pets now, right, Adam? Have you named any of the chickens? Um, Sunny, Dolly, and Munchkin. I see. Cool. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go peek over at the chickens. Okay, yeah, thank you. You're so we've been biking around. This is the first house on the tour, but we're gonna go all over Pittsburgh and visit all these different chicken coops. That's the worst. <laughs> so here's the first one. If you're insulating the whole thing, you're putting a sealed system, basically. Do 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 do. We don't, no. But they, they literally, they live right out here. We insulate the outside of, of the coop all the way around. Um, and they were really, really happy this winter. There was no, wow, was no really issues cold. at all. Very it was cool. really cold, yeah. Now, did you clip the wings? Oh, thanks. Did you clip we do clip the wings. Um, it's, once again, it's like cutting your fingernails. It doesn't hurt them. Um, it is a bit of a struggle. So it's one of those things, two people, and, you know, I'm not experienced at doing it either, so. How yeah. often do you have to do that? Uh, we've done it once. Uh -huh. Yeah, you I just do it once when they're a little bit older and I they're see. fine. But we also have the netting and stuff here, so th they really, you know, they're not going anywhere. We let them out in the yard and run around every once in a while when we're here. But uh -huh. the reason why we have this netting, and you'll notice the fencing is pretty intense. It goes down two feet into the ground um, with, with um, no, we've got um, like gravel coated. down there. And actually, at the same time that I did that, uh, we worked with the um, the watershed group here to. We took our downspouts out and, and put them into, basically it's a French train if you think about it, it's a glorified French train. So it slows down the water before it gets to the stream, which is kind of nice. We also have two uh, water barrels, uh, rain barrels around the house, that those um, are ones that we couldn't just let run free because it would be a problem. We use the water from that uh, for the garden and stuff like that as well. Once again, everything that we're trying to do is cyclical here and, and you know constantly reinforcing the message to our kids and just, you know, it produces better sustainable um, food for us, which is kind of nice. Do you have any problem with predators trying to get out? We do. So um, we're right next to the woods here. We have foxes, yeah. raccoons, weasels. You've heard the story. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much. This is like, I have to say, very I thought nice. maybe 12 people would come on this tour, so I'm really excited <laughs> to see. Oh, we've had a lot of people. Coming, yeah. I know, we've had a whole lot of people come through, which is great. So um, predators are a huge problem. Yeah. And obviously, we, we live right next to the, the uh, the woods here. So we have a, a red fox family that lives right up the hill here. We hear them at wow. night, and um, that's why I have this yeah. fencing yeah, two feet down. Um, and that keeps them out, and we haven't had any problems with dogs or foxes or any of that stuff. Um, we have had problems with raccoons. Raccoons are incredibly, incredibly crafty, like yeah. crafty, yeah. and you know they'll get into anything they can. So that's no, where, no, if you see the white me. ties and and the you know, around the netting yeah. overhead, um, that was a four o'clock in the morning job that I did after a raccoon got in. It actually attacked the chickens. Um, it it got mouthfuls of. Um, yeah, they're chasing little bugs around, which is great. They are, they are bug predators. They take everything, stink bugs, mosquitoes. Yeah. It's why we let them, and grubs in your grass. And so it's why we let them around the yard. Um, fantastic <laughs> for that. Anyway, the um, raccoons are really good at getting in, um, and you have to be, you have to seal, you basically have to have a sealed fence area for, uh, to keep the raccoons out. It's why a lot of people actually, instead of going with a run like this, they go with a larger size of the coop. Because the coop is much easier to sort of maintain. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking yeah, something yeah. a little bit larger than that. He has a run, but he, I think, opposes. Welcome. Hi. 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 
This is an egg that was, um, it's now about 25 minutes old. Yes, it's still a little bit warm, warm, but it's not quite hot, but you know. Um, it's not wet. Yeah, and not wet, yes. Just, it dries out. May, may I feel that? Oh yeah, please, feel free. Thank you. No problem. Hey, wow, this is a fresh, yeah. I'm Josh. fresh Josh. warm egg. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Once again, yeah, this is the so first yeah. ever urban but, chicken oh, coop oh, tour oh, here in Peaceburg, oh, Pittsburgh. Oh, you do? Oh, great. Yeah. So have a wonderful day. Check out transitionpgh.org. Yep. And you can have kind of like chickens in the city. Find out which one is named Munchkin. Oh, one of them is named Munchkin. We should figure that out. <laughs> so, I think this gentleman here would know. Which, which one? one is Munchkin? Is great. Um, and we don't have one, so I would, I would suggest the dark yeah, one. Yeah, See you later, Munchkin. Exactly. Thank you for showing us around, Adam.